Okay, we're back. Uh, this way. That's spooktober. Y'all have any Halloween plans? I said earlier we like to just sit around and watch a spooky movie. Ah! Yeah, these enemies are real creepy, but I it, it's cool. It's neat to just think that there's it's a little reference to Gaping Dragon. Dex builds? Uh, we're doing Dex Faith right now. We just picked up our lightning gem, so our, we're looking to... Uh, this is pointless, isn't it? Pointless? No, rescue. Um, we got our lightning gem. We have to get the, uh, the coal from the next zone. Then we'll be good to go. Then we'll be cooking with gas. Okay, so this is very important for Grey Rat specifically. We're going to come down here, we're going to light a bonfire, but do not... Do not... Um, I think there's a corpse down here. Do not proceed past the bonfire, because if you enter the next... There's two ways you can go here. I guess there isn't. There's two ways you can go here, and uh, if you go one way, then Grey Rat will die in this zone. Not really a Halloween guy, but I won't turn down a spooky party. I can get behind that. Okay, we can sit. That's fine. Looking good. Okay, so we're on our way to fight Pontiff Sullivan. Sullivan. That's his name. That's how you pronounce it. If you say it any differently, you're wrong. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I'm trying to be more animated with my commentary. I hear that's what the kids like. Huh, an enemy! Ah! Oh, okay. I think that's toxic, so we really don't want to be toxified. I actually don't think there's, like, a, a, a legit toxic area until the dungeon, which is good, because being toxic is awful. So, if, for whatever reason, Grey Rat may end up dying down here... Uh, he shows up right over here, surrounded by these little mini mini gaping dragons. That's where he'll. That's where his corpse will be, because you can pick up his ashes and give them to the handmaiden, excrement covered ashes. You can give them to the handmaiden, and then she'll sell what he used to sell. Hello, my friend. <laughs> That's how we know he's the real one this time. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 excuse me, I, I must have dozed off. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so I... Siegfried of Katarina offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. Nice. That's a good PvP spell. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. Or sick, bro. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. 
<laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I have a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> and he's asleep. Okay. So again, you don't want to go into the dungeon until you've talked to Ziegward, or you can screw up his quest also. Which is funny because it seems like, oh, hey, there's multiple ways you can go, multiple paths you can take. But you have to go this way, or you can screw up two NPC quests. All right. I've seen some funny PvP with that spell. Yeah, like knocking people off cliffs and stuff. If being toxic is so awful, why do so many people? Why are so many people on the internet like that? Robert Papa, you're all over the dropping the hard truths today. So this is a neat little like you come in here and a, there's like a lot of paintings from Anne Orlando. And there's a silver knight. This is a trap though. We're gonna just run by him real quick. So I think this was like this was almost like a, a red herring nostalgia trip where they're like, oh look, it's Anne Orlando. Like, look, it's this little Anne Orlando area, and there's, like, Silver Knights and stuff. Like, it's only one room, but that's so cool. But just wait. <laughs> you just wait. I don't want to outright spoil it, even though I, I know a lot of you have played this already, but... Silver Knights are no joke at this point. Um, I was, like, a god at parrying them in DS1, but not now. They just changed the parry, they changed the parry timings just slightly that I just can't do it, admittedly. There's an archer up there who'll just blast you, so that's why you wanna pull that guy past him, and that's why it's a bit of a trap. Here's another one. Hello, my friend. Whoa! Get him! That shouldn't have worked, but it did. I'm doing... Uh, my damage is not looking good. We're so flipping close to the lightning infusion, which will allow us to do... A lo oh god, I'll do, a, I'll do a, de a decent amount more damage. Please don't. God damn it. I was a millimeter away from hitting him. Okay. Don't go down the stairs. Don't go down the stairs. We want to go out. I feel like I've been dying a lot more today than pretty much any other play session. Except maybe... Blue Smelter Demon. Blue Smelter Demon and Sir Alon. I don't know how I forgot about them. Wow, those... Those bosses took me a long time in DS2. You've played all the, D the DS games except 3? Three? 3 is... It's fun. I'd recommend it. I mean, I grew to really like 2. A lot of people don't like it, but I've grown to... It's grown on me a lot. And uh, I think going back to three after playing two, it's, it just reminds you of the first game a lot. And it's just like the, oh dear, the combat mechanics are crisp. The PvP is still active. There's a lot of good stuff about it. I really should just run by enemies. I don't know why I waste. Some Estes soup. Okay, let's go try this again. Interestingly enough, the, the Silver Knights in this room do not respawn. There's Guinevere. I hate the Smelter Demon. Yes, me too. <laughs> um, the VOD, well, I've got all the VODs up on my Discord. You can see all of them immediately. But as, like, the videos are coming out pretty soon, you'll be able to see all the trouble I had with Blue Smelter. That was, that was rough. Okay, let's not mess around this time. I really like the lightning attack that they added to them in this game. It's very fitting.
I don't know if that lightning attack can be parried or not, to be honest. Not that I would try, but... What? Why? <laughs> Stop frostbiting me! Alright, we gotta be a little more careful, because our, our endurance is gonna come back a lot slower because of this. Oh, he's frostbitten too! That's right! Dude, not now. Not now, Blue Sentinels. Please. Okay, good. We got him at least so that when we come back, he'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, Red Smelter Demon is okay for me. The run to him is worse. But Blue Smelter Demon is truly awful. I don't know where the where my buddy would eat. Oh, God. I'm not sure where the battle is happening right now. This is not a good... Oh, okay. Is this the same guy? Same guy who's going to run to all the enemies. I don't blame him. But like, I'm the police, dude. Running from the police is a is a felony. Uh-oh. Little kite. Oh, he's out of Estus. Don't risk it, buddy. It's the host! Where have you been all my life? Oh, okay. Let's go. Got him. 2v1. I can't feel good about that, but I got my Concord. My proof of Concord kept. And one of the few instances where I can succeed in PvP with my straight sword shield combo. <laughs> okay, excellent. And now there's a couple... Couple goodies up here that a that a little nostalgia trip that we'll have when we go and pick them up. Leo ring, Ornstein's ring, boosts thrust attacks. Could be pretty good with what we're using right now. Smo's great hammer and a divine blessing. Nope. No frostbite. Yeah, I mean, for someone who, again, it's 2v1, he got one of the blues completely out of Estus. I don't. I think he would have been fine in that one-on-one, -on -one, but I just ran in and was able to take him out, which I feel bad about. This area... Oh, I remember this. I feel like this is one of the more challenging spots. Straight Sword's pretty good in PvP. Yeah, as long as, as, long as you're against someone who can't parry. And also, my damage is not very optimal right now. And I'm doing a faith build. Oh! Okay. Ah, three hits, unfortunately. I was hoping I could get these guys in two. Oh, good. I got... Okay, I got that guy. So annoying. These dogs on the stairs! Stop it! No! Why did not? I ran up to try to kill the caster quickly, and the dogs just, they just didn't let up. And I got a little afraid of, um... I got a little afraid of getting uh, my guard broken, so I let my shield down and got smoked. Oh, yes. Hello, Cal. <laughs> Talking about the straight sword. Butcher knife? I've never tried that in PvP. I swear, I really want to try, like, a four-pronged plow PvP build just because of how ridiculous it sounds. Now, because we run slow in this water, I, I don't think I can... Oh, no, I can. Okay. I'm gonna say, I don't know if I can run by these guys, but yes, you can. Ah! It's fine. We, 
and get some Esta soup. Yum. Crazy damage with the butcher's knife. Interesting. Maybe I'll use lightning spear. You don't know. I think the whole thing with the invisible guys, you can't lock onto them, so using spells isn't that easy. You can't, uh, you'd have to use binoculars or something. Yeah, strength builds seem like where it's at, I'm, honestly. Strength builds seem really strong. Just because, especially with ultra great swords, you can keep people stun locked. Straight swords, you, there's an opportunity to both carry and roll out of them. Whereas, uh, ultra great swords, you're just straight up stunned. You can't even roll. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, they're gone. Okay. Oh, they haven't. Well, they haven't aggroed yet. Urgh. One down. One down. No problem. One dog at a time is no problem. All right. All right. Ha ha! I, I've caught you. I don't think there are any more dogs. Yeah, I would love to hear people's PvP builds, because I, I would love to respec and try some more in the future. Because right now, again, my build, it, it can be PvP viable, but at this moment, it is not. You should watch the fighting cowboy build with Butcher Knife. Alright. Yeah, I did a big, I did the big Ultra Great Sword in uh, Dark Souls 2, and that was fun. And it forces you to rely more on rolling as opposed to blocking, which blocking is less interesting and allows you to get away with more than you should, in PvE especially. So that was a shortcut we just opened that we'll never use. Pretty sure. Um, did I miss any pickups? I feel like I should have found an Estus Shard in Irithel, and I didn't. Which concerns me. I can check after the stream. To see if I've missed anything. I think, I think this is a trap that we can circumvent. I've already aggroed them, but I should have... Should have gone the other way. Yeah, I should have done this first, because you can climb here. You suck at PvP and won't be any help. I mean, I do too, but I'm, you know, it's still, like, interesting to me. I'd like to figure it out. But I am admittedly and demonstrably bad. <laughs> I, think, I think part of it really is getting used to the, the lag timings of it, because you know that there's that bit, bit of lag that happens for sure. Wow, that guy was, like, actually invisible. Pontiff's gonna be a hell of a time here because I am not really specced into anything. That's he's gonna be a problem. First off, I'm gonna change over to um, charcoal pine resin. Yeah, he's gonna give me a hell of a time. Oh dear. Soul of a weary warrior. I do have 70,000 souls, 67, so I think I'm definitely going to go back first. I don't know how that did not hit me, but it didn't hit me. <laughs> there are some NPC summons here also that you can pick up. I think you could bring Henri into this fight. And maybe someone else. Uh, Pale Shade of Londar, probably, but that's only if um, that's only if Yuria is still around, and I think she's pissed at us now, so probably not. Dark Souls 2 uh, Scholar of the First Sin Sorcery was OP. I think it was in the main game, but not in the DLC. The DLC had all this really resistant, like a ton, added a ton of resistances to all the enemies. 
and it captured. I had to respec away from a sorcerer after playing the game. After playing the game as a sorcerer for the whole thing, but I couldn't beat. Uh, I couldn't beat Burnt Ivory King, just because I was doing so little damage that I couldn't even get through the first phase. It's a shame. I mean, I take the blame for that as well, but I just think that they they went overboard with the resistances. What is Estus? Estus is the uh, is the bottom left. It's the. Uh... Are you asking like what is it in the lure, or are you asking like what is it? Um, actually, let's just go ahead and run to the to the church bonfire. We can skip all this. Uh, or like what is it in the in the game as a game mechanic? It's just your healing item as a game mechanic. Whoop! I would just like to get to this church, please. Oh, oh god. Okay, they're leaving. <laughs> hex, yeah, I did hex. I played as a hex, a hexer and it was huge damage, like absurd amounts of damage. It's tempting to ember before this fight for the extra health, but I don't know. I it's been a while since I fought Pontiff straight up in a prolonged fight. So I think I'm gonna have to uh, do some experimentation before I throw away buffs Welcome and stuff. Home, Very well. then. See, now's my chance. We just go further into faith, knowing that we're getting that lightning gem attuned well, soon. Um, is there anything else to do here? We have some ashes that are covered in poop. Oh. Gracious. Let. I only hope the. <laughs> I don't know what that unlocks on her. Oh, you know, I think it's permanent purple moss clumps, which is really good. I think almost Ashen definitely one. that's what it is. <laughs> Jay, have you played Heroes recently, the new event? I haven't. I. It's, fu it's funny because Deltron and I both really enjoy that game, and we play it, we're like, we need to do this more often, and then we just don't. I think he plays it a lot in his spare time, though. I know he really enjoys it, but I really should get back to it. For the first time, you should always summon them for all the emotes, then you can dismiss them, yeah. That is what me. I can go check to see if Pale Shade will even Could allow me to be summon careful. him, because I know Yuria is pissed at us. But she may not leave officially until you talk to her, so maybe we can go summon Pale Shade, get the emote, and then send him back. We could certainly try. Alright. I'm gonna try Pontiff a couple times and I'm gonna head out. It's been a good stream. It's been about a four hour stream. So, uh, if Pontiff takes me too many attempts, where I'll, you know, I'll take a break and then try him again at another time. Uh, okay, so we wanna go this way. And not run through the big clusters of enemies. Okay, run by the invisible guys. We could just run by, yeah, just run, just run by them. Let's give this a go and see how it. Ha let's see how it happens. Let's see how it goes. I didn't summon Pale Shade. Whoops. Uh, don't worry, I probably won't beat this guy. Now. A lot of people have learned how to parry him on that first swing. If you can parry the first swing, then you can just do like massive repose damage to him. Bone dust charges, so like we, our heals are like legit. Didn't get the hit there. I can imagine doing this without, um, without a shield though is quite challenging. It's 
because I'm getting a lot of free blocks here. I mean, if I wasn't blocking, I would probably focus more on rolling. I don't know how that didn't hit me. He's about to go to phase two. I just gotta roll out of this. Sure, go ahead and heal. So here he summons like a shade of himself, and you wanna you gotta like kill it real quick, because it it just it's just a second him. Which is a pain in the ass. I, uh, we don't have the DPS to kill it fast enough. But basically, the real pontiff mimics its movement. Okay, I got it. I got it. We gotta survive here. Ah, shit. <laughs> I panicked after I killed this little thing. I almost got it pretty quick. Oh, one more swing and I would have gotten it. We're not doing enough DPS. I think I gotta come in with resin and we can definitely get him. That wasn't too bad. If Yuri is pissed at you, Pale Shade will invade you and you'll be unable to summon him. But she hasn't left Firelink yet, so I think it's worth checking. That didn't go too bad. Again, I don't think I'm doing enough damage, though, to get rid of the Shade before it can legitimately be removed from the situation. I can try charcoal. I might want to apply it as phase two begins, actually. That's actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to Ember for the extra HP. I'm just going to see if Pale Shade is available for the, um, the emote, but I think it's probably too late. You're, you're almost definitely right. Oh, you can get the Pale Shade set from uh, Invasions? I didn't know that. No, that's Blackhand Goddard. I think this one's Henri. Yeah, I don't. I can't have it. All right, well, let's just go in the Fog Door because we're right here. I would be fine fighting an invader, but I'm right here, so I would rather just get this show on the road. I could try parrying him. I mean, we're embered, so why why risk? God, the cute attacks. I feel like if you fight him on the stairs, there's a little more leeway to avoid his attacks. Maybe I, maybe I'm crazy. So I think his second sword is actually Dark Moon Blade. It's not it's not dark damage, it's Dark Moon Blade, which is magic. Whoa! A lot of roll catch attacks here. A lot of roll catch attacks that just bomb through you. Like that one. Let's wait, let's wait. Great. Not terrible, though. Here's the roll catch attacks. Like, just gotta get kind of, like, almost lucky that you start rolling at the right time if you're not really... Alright, get out of that. Ah, it was way too late. Way too late there. He summoned it right away. <laughs> I think his moveset is a little... 
is a little reduced when there's a shade out, but I'm not 100% sure about that. There we go. Shit. I love that little poke movie has. It's like it's it's like completely unavoidable. Oh, how did that catch me? I thought I rolled. Get in there. Ah, uh, we don't have the resin up anymore. We might be able to just straight up kill Pontiff without killing the Phantom here. Yes! Oh, we did it even with the, the clone up. Nice. Whew, okay. That's a toughie. That's always a toughie. Pont of Sullivan down. Now we move into possibly the most, um, I would say probably the most um, populated PvP zone of the, of the area. Of the game, I should say. Nice. Alright, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope all y'all who have been sticking around have enjoyed yourselves. That was a fun Sullivan fight. I also proved to myself Welcome. Very that I was able to do it alone on new game rather than using a summon. Farewell, Ashen. We're so close to getting our lightning infusion. We're so close. Thanks, Paradise. Appreciate it. Thanks, Cal. Thanks, John. That was fun. All right. I don't think there's anything else to do. I don't. They actually, no, there is. You know what? We can do some real quick stuff, like uh, Grey Rat's back now, so we can go talk to him. Uh, the trigger that decides whether he lives or dies happens with Pontiff. So if Pontiff... When you kill Pontiff, if you didn't talk to uh, uh, Onion Man, then then he dies. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion knight. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. Cool. Just gonna stock up on embers now that we can afford them. Get them out of his inventory. Goodbye. And stay safe. Okay. Now, I don't oh, this place is a... <laughs> I don't think there's anything else NPC related to do. We don't have a second Titanite chunk, do we? No, well, no, we already did that. We already up upgraded it. We can upgrade our other stuff. And we could do this next time. When I said, hey, we're ending the stream, y'all are like ready. You're like, okay, it's over now, right? And instead I'm like, let's just upgrade some stuff. That's not too thrilling, right? So yeah, this will be the end. Enjoy the rest of your weekend if it's still the weekend for you. And if not, I hope you have a good rest of the week. I will probably be back next weekend to stream some more Dark Souls. That's my plan. Map Arena submission videos will be coming out this week. Uh, each uh, Five a week, just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I'll take a break over the weekend so we can record more of them. All right, have a good one, everybody. See you later.